My name is Emily. I work on the events team at the Ann Arbor District Library, and today I'm going to show you everything you need to make this Halloween garland decoration using paper and ribbon or yarn. These make great decorations for your front door, for a Halloween themed centerpiece, or to hang on your wall, ceiling, railing, or anywhere else that needs a touch of the Halloween spirit. For this project, you'll need square sheets of paper in several sizes. The sizes I recommend are 2.5 inches, 3 inches, 3 and a half inches, and 4 inches. And I chose the colors orange, black, green, and purple because to me those are Halloween colors. You can use different ribbon sizes. Here I've used a 1 inch ribbon, a half inch ribbon, and some yarn. To make this you'll need some paper clips or pins or a marker to mark your garland depending on its color, something to help you fold like a bone folder, and a dry permanent double-sided adhesive like glue dots or double-sided tape. Start by planning how long you want your garland to be, and then think about how far apart you want your starburst decorations to be on the garland. I've chosen on all of my garlands to have the starburst decorations one foot apart. The best way to get them evenly spaced is to fold your ribbon or yarn in half and then mark it on both legs at even intervals. So I want the starburst decorations on my ribbon to be a foot apart, so I will make a mark on either side of the ribbon from the fold line at the end and then go down 12 inches from that mark and make another mark and so on and so forth. That will give me evenly spaced marks so I know where to put my starburst decorations. If your ribbon or string is black, use a sewing pin or a safety pin or a paper clip to mark the place instead. Now that you have your ribbon marked, you can determine the number, size, and color of the papers you'll need. For my yarn garland, I chose to make it 8 feet long with 8 starburst decorations made out of 2.5 inch papers. For my half inch ribbon, I made it 5.5 feet long with 6 starburst decorations and 3 inch square papers. For my inch ribbon, I made a 5 foot long garland with 4 starburst decorations and 4 inch square papers. No matter their size, all papers will be folded the exact same way. I'm demonstrating with a larger sheet of paper so you can see clearly what I'm doing. Start by folding your piece of paper in half. Then have it so it's sitting on your table like a tent. And take one corner and fold it to its diagonal opposite corner and crease it down. Open up your paper, turn it around, and do the same thing on the other side, folding the other diagonal. If you look at my paper, you can see that I've folded it into six triangles, two large ones, and four small ones. I'm going to take those large triangles and I'm going to close them together like a book. And if I want to, I can go over that with my bone folder to make it lie flat. Not so important for this project though. So you can see in the middle, there is a central line formed by those four smaller triangles coming together in the middle. And when I look at my larger triangle, I've got four corner flaps. I'm going to take each of those corner flaps and fold it over so the point of it lines up with that center line in the middle. And 
And so just going around and folding each one down and just lining up its point with that central line. And I'll just do the same with all four corners. So now my flaps are on the outside, they've been folded. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up each one of those flaps and push it inward so it folds inside out. If you're familiar with origami, you'll know this as a squash fold. And I'll do the same thing, going around to each corner, opening it up, and folding it so it's on the inside. That's really it. So now you just have to fold a bunch of them. This is probably a good place to say that this isn't necessarily the craft you want to do the night before your Halloween party because folding can take a long time. This is a project that it's good to fold a few every day leading up to Halloween. I'll start assembling my garland by picking one paper up and taking my glue dots and pressing that paper down onto the glue dot and pulling it up and just kind of making sure the glue dot is more or less in the center and then I'll grab another paper and just line it up so that they're sitting on top of each other. And so now I've adhered two of them together. So I'm just gonna continue by taking all of my papers and gluing them together in pairs with the glue dots. Once I've finished putting them together in pairs, I'm going to grab my ribbon. So I have the places on my ribbon with paper clips and pins where I've marked where I want each Starburst decoration to go. So I'm going to grab a pair and I'm going to put a glue dot on one side. And then I'm going to put it face down so it's sticking onto the ribbon and the point is going to be where I've marked out on my garland. And then I turn my ribbon over and I'm gonna pick up my other pair of folded papers. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, get my glue dot, and then I'm just gonna line those up exactly where I put my first pair. And at this point, you can remove your pin or paper clip or whatever it may be. So now keeping them folded for ease, I'm going to put a glue dot on one side. And then I'm gonna turn it around and put a glue dot on the other side. So now I've got two glue dots facing out. 
And then I'm just gonna hold my ribbon taut and allow those papers to open up and just very gently coax them open so that they close around the ribbon, making sure that nothing gets twisted. And then I'll just press down to make sure the glue dots are holding everything in place. So that's it, that is one assembled. And then I can just go through the rest of my ribbon, doing the exact same thing. And this uses four glue dots for every starburst decoration. Now I found that with the yarn it's actually a little more straightforward. So I've already got my papers assembled in pairs. And you see that when I put my blue dotted paper on the yarn, the yarn doesn't actually cover it up all the way. So I can just stick my other pair of papers directly onto it and it will appear. And then I will just put one glue dot on one side of the paper that's facing out once I've removed my safety pin there to get it out of the way. So I'll just put one glue dot there and then again like I did with the larger ribbon I just kind of hold my yarn taut, allow everything to open and just coax that around and closed and just make sure that the glue dot is sticking everything together on either side of the yarn. And that's it. And so in this case, I am alternating colors as I go along my garland. So it's just important to pay attention to which colors you're using if you are mixing and matching different colors. And I just go down through the rest of my garland and I assemble where I have my points marked out. Thank you.